All right, guys, we are going to be talking about the latest addition to the Shaka Racing Garage today. And no, it's not another vehicle. Today, we've got the latest product from Giraffe Tools, which is their wall mounted 2200 PSI power washer that I got installed here. I mounted it up, I made it look super clean and neat. And uh, I'm gonna show you what I did, how I got it installed, what all comes with the kit, and uh, show you how it works because it does include a foam cannon for washing your cars. So stay tuned. All right, so now the day that I got the whole power washer installed, I filmed an intro to this video. I did a full complete unboxing of the Giraffe Tools power washer. And for the second time now, my GoPro Hero 9 with the Media Mic mod has failed me and did not record any audio for my entire intro. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to just show you some clips and uh, kind of narrate over the unboxing process and what all came with the power washer here. But uh, I'm gonna kind of speed through that show you what came in it, and then uh, we'll get into the actual install procedure. All right, so it is day two of my Giraffe Tools power washer install because it took the rest of the day yesterday to kind of plan out where I want to put it and all that good stuff. So I do need to make a quick run to Home Depot to get a 10 foot leader hose. I've, the five foot one that it came with just isn't going to be quite long enough for what I want to do here. And uh, I think I need a drill bit and maybe a couple straps so I could strap the hose to the wall and keep things real nice and clean. So. Um, I'm gonna make a quick run. I grab the key to the Bronco. I'm gonna hop in, take a quick run, grab what I need, and then we'll get this thing installed. Okay, so I just got back from Home Depot. I got my 10 foot leader hose that's gonna work out perfectly, I think here. I'm a little disappointed I could only get green. I was kind of wanting a black one so it'll blend in a little more, but uh, I'll get it all installed and I may paint it or uh, maybe even just wrap it in electrical tape or something so it looks black. I also found this, which I think is gonna be cool for my setup because I've got this spigot here and um, I was thinking once I have it hooked up to the power washer, I kind of want to leave it hooked up. Um, and this will allow me to install it and leave that hose always hooked up. And then I can also still be able to hook up another hose to the other side. So saw this, it was 14 bucks. I figured it's worth a try. I think it'll be cool. And uh, just gotta get ready and drill some holes and run my leader hose and then I can work on getting the actual power washer mounted up. So I wanna get the leader hose from the hose spigot there over to the wall and then underneath these stairs, which I'm pretty sure are just hollow underneath. So I'm gonna start by drilling a hole here and then on the other side and hopefully I can just kind of feed it through and uh, in hopes of running the hose nice and clean under the stairs. All right, so I got my nice clean hole there. Now I can just gotta do the same thing on the other side and I can try to feed the hose through. All right, so I got my holes drilled on both sides of the stairs. I'm gonna take my, a fish tape here and uh, I'm just gonna try to feed it through the hole on one side and hopefully I can pull it out the other. That way I can hook the hose and pull it back through. Okay, I finally got the fish tape pulled through thanks to Kim. Uh, we grabbed her, had her help me come feed it through. Now I'm just gonna tape the fish tape using some electrical tape. Just gonna tape it up. All right, that's the end of this 
electrical tape here. All right, now that I've got it started through the hole, I can move to the other side and uh, hopefully just pull it right on through. All right, so again, thanks to Kim's help, just got this pulled through and uh, I can disconnect all my electrical tape here and release this fish tape. Okay, so I have chosen my kind of spot. I used my little stool there to kind of raise it up to the point I want it to be. Um, giving myself enough clearance on the side here so I can get to the to turn it on and off, as well as to be able to grab the handles here if I want to lift it off the mount and move it off. So I think this is a good spot. It gives me enough room. I've also tested to make sure that the, the gun or the lance, whatever wand, fits in the mounting spot and does not hit the ground. So I've given myself enough length there that it will not hit the ground. And uh, so I think this is gonna be a good height. Now I just need to move it away from the wall and mark the holes, grab my Sharpie and the mounting base plate here. Uh, so this is the mount that's gonna get bolted to the wall using these anchors. Okay, so now I do not claim to be any kind of a handyman when it comes to household stuff. I am much better when it comes to wrenching on Jeeps and working on cars, um, but for me, this is a super easy install because my entire wall has drywall and then plywood. So this is the wall into the house. So the whole wall is plywood. So I can pretty much go anywhere on this wall. I know I don't have electrical or anything like that that I have to worry about in this wall. I have marked my four holes um, in the wall down there. And uh, I'm gonna grab a half inch drill bit, which is what they the instructions call for, a half inch drill bit and they recommend that you mark it. So I marked it right at about the two inch mark there um, so that I know the depth when I'm drilling into the wall so that you don't drill any further than need be. Now, basically what we're doing is we are drilling just long enough to put the wall anchors in, um, which I probably shouldn't need because I, again, I have the plywood walls that I'll be anchoring into, but um, I'm gonna use these anyways. You'll just uh, kind of tap these into the half inch hole then, and then we're just gonna put the anchors into that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my four holes drilled so that I can put those in. All right, now that I've got the uh, bracket mounted to the wall, anchored in, and all four bolts in there, uh, the next step is just, just to go ahead and slide the actual power washer onto the wall. Super simple, there are actually two handles on the handle or a spot to grab on either side. Just go ahead and grab it. And then this bracket on the back is just gonna slide right in. And lock it into place on the wall. So as you can see with it mounted to the wall, it is actually pretty slim design, doesn't stick that far out away from the wall. Keeps it nice and tight here. Got your spot to mount your foam cannon bottle. And then on the other side, the hose wand will go right in here. All right, so I'm gonna take my hose, the 10 foot hose that I ran under the steps. I've already added on the adapter here onto the side of the power washer. One tip is to always make sure that you have all your gaskets inside here. So this one does have the little black gasket in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread this in there nicely. Um, they do mention in their directions to only hand tighten this. Do not, you know, do not use any tools to like lock it down. So you can see that it's all connected here. I've got my hose going down and through into the wall under the stairs. Coming back out over to this side here and connected to my spigot, okay? So I think I'm at the point now where I can test things out. For now, unfortunately, I don't have a power outlet on this wall, so I'm gonna have to connect this to a extension cord, um, but eventually, hopefully, I'll get a, uh, a GFI uh, outlet put in over here so that I don't have to use extension cord. So let me get that going and then I can hook up everything and test the water pressure. Next, I grab the actual power washer gun. I have already connected the wand 
onto the end here, screwed it on nice and tight. I did grab the four, these are the four different jets or nozzles for the, the gun that are quick connect into the end here. So what's really cool is that on the wand here, they've given you a mount for the four different quick connect nozzles. And each one of these is gonna give you a different type of spray pattern. Um, and then these just clip into here. And it does tell you, like this one, the green one says 25 degrees, and this does slide along here. So that's kind of nice. You can kind of position it how you want. But uh, yeah, this gun is all ready. Other than I need to go ahead and screw on the fitting here. And as I'm doing this, I'm actually realizing that I may have made this too short here because I want it long enough so that I can put it in the, uh, in the mount and not have to disconnect this every time. So I'll probably pull this back out more. And that's probably why they had it set at the length that they did. While we're talking about that, I'll show you here. Um, it's basically just two Phillips head screws, one, one on each side. If you loosen those up, you'll be able to slide the ball along. Quick loosen them. You don't have to loosen them too much. And you can uh, slide that in. That'll probably give me enough room here to lock this in place. All right, this is the foam cannon and bottle. They do give you a nice place for that to mount right there. And at this point, I am ready to turn on the water. I can then check for any leaks at any of the fittings, just to make sure I'm not leaking water all over the garage. And then uh, once that's up uh, good, I can go ahead and power it on just with the on off switch on the side there and uh, we can give her a test. I'm going to turn on the cold water here. Right now I've got on my splitter, I've got them both turned off. So water's not going to come out of this one. So I'm just going to turn on the cold water. So the cold is on. I'm not getting any leaks out of here, which is good. And then basically if I turn this down, that pressurized the water all the way into the power washer so I could hear it coming through and this is all powered up. And the good news is I'm not getting any leaks here either. Now I'm gonna reach around to the side here to the on off switch. So that should have powered it up. All right, so now that I've got it all powered up and I've got water pressurized to it, I've got the unit on. I'm just gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna grab the, the lowest one, so the zero degree. All right, so these, these are just quick connect fittings. You pull this back, push it in, and make sure that it fully locks in and that this pushes forward. Otherwise, you may launch this like a, a weapon. So, all right. So let's go ahead and test it out here. All right, I would say we are successfully functioning. Everything seems to be working as it should. Okay, so I'm getting ready to try this out. I'm gonna power wash my garage floor here. Um, it's got a winter's worth of salt and road grime from Chicago winters here. So I'm gonna give this thing a try and test it out. So with this retractable hose reel that pulls out to 100 feet long, this is gonna be great in the summertime because not only will it work for me in the garage here for cleaning the floor and if I wanna wash a vehicle inside, I'll also have enough length to pull it out and drag it out into the driveway to wash cars, power wash the driveway, even the, the sidewalk to my front door, things like that. And I can do all that without having to you know, remove it from the wall. Now, I still have that option if I wanted to, I can just lift it off the wall, super easy, and I can plug it in wherever I want, connect a different hose to it, things like that. So, but this hose reel, being 100 feet long, it will stop at any point that you want it to stop at. So you just pull it out, and then like to reel it in, you know, it just starts pulling in. But if I want to stop it right here, I just pull and release and it stopped, okay? Now when I'm, when I'm ready to put it back away, I want to give it a pull and just let it start reeling itself in. And you want to hang on to it while you reel it in because you don't want to just let it go and fling away. So you just want to kind of walk it in. But then again, when I'm ready to pull it out, pull it out, let go, and it locked it in place, okay? So now I've got the, um, 20 degree uh, 
nozzle in here. It's gonna give me a nice wide 20 degree pattern for doing my garage floor. Um, I typically like to, um, I use simple green, so I'm gonna spray some simple green down. Be able to take this and power wash the garage floor and test it all out. So let's get to that. Super quick and easy to power wash this portion of the floor. Um, I like that I was able to change between nozzles super quickly um, to try out all four. And now that I'm done with the floor, all I've got to do is grab the end, grab the hose, give it a nice little tug, and walk it in. Now, Giraffe Tools does recommend that before you you know, reel it in, you do relieve the pressure from the line. It's probably best to actually, you know, shut off your water to it, um, pull the gun, let it release the pressure, and then reel it in, okay? Super nice and easy. I'm really happy with how compact it is. It's gonna be up and out of the way, um, not taking up space or floor space in my garage, and uh, I don't, it works great. So. The next thing I'm excited about is I do want to try out the foam cannon. I've got some uh, foam uh, wash. So I'm going to probably load that up. I'm going to move some cars around and give that thing a try um, just to see how well the foam cannon does and get, you know, see, see how much foam. I, I have been using a cheap Amazon foam cannon for the last few years and it doesn't really get very foamy or sudsy. So I'm hoping that this will give me a lot better foam uh, being that it's designed to work with this power washer. Okay, so I am getting ready to test out the foam cannon that came with the Giraffe Tools uh, power washer. It does come with the same quick connect as the different spray nozzles. So it's just gonna slide in here and lock in just like the other nozzles do. Um, you'll notice on the very top, it's got a min soap and a max soap. So I'm gonna start with it at the min soap mark. Um, it's right on top there. And uh, we'll see how this does. <laughs> All right, so that's the min soap. I'm gonna to go to the max. All right, and now that I have soaked it down, I'm just gonna remove the foam and I'm gonna switch over to the, I think I'm gonna go with the 15 degree. Make sure it locks in. I've noticed that they do click a little bit. So make sure it fully locks in before you use it. Otherwise it will shoot this off, okay? <laughs> All right, so that was super easy. You can see it did a nice quick job of kind of a quick rinse on the Mojito G. I didn't actually use a sponge or anything, but uh, it looks like it got all the salt and crud off the Mojito Jeep. So I'm really happy with that for just a quick, quickie little test with the foam cannon and the power washer from Giraffe Tools. So super nice, super easy. Nice to have this option inside the garage here. All right, so that is going to wrap up our installation and review of the new Giraffe Tools power washer that is wall mounted. And uh, I gotta say, I'm really, really happy with this thing so far. Um, not really anything I could pick. Um, after testing the foam cannon, uh, the one thing I would say is I would like to see a little more foam, but I think that actually comes down to the way I mixed my mixture. So I wouldn't blame it on the power washer or the foam can in here. It's probably because I think I have a little bit too much water to soap mix in here. And I think if I would have uh, put a little less water, it would have foamed up and been a little thicker sud on the Mojito Jeep. So um, I'm gonna play with that mixture going forward. But uh, I really like this retractable hose reel, how nice and easy it operates and functions. Um, the 2200 PSI Max um, is 
more power than I need for cleaning the garage floors, cleaning all the different vehicles. Um, it's gonna be really nice to be able to get up underneath the Jeeps and kind of power wash them and clear out some of the mud and crud out from underneath after off-roading. And uh, I like that it's kind of like all in one. It includes the gun, your different nozzles and jets, gives you a nice place to mount the jets, and then gives you the foam cannon. And uh, as you can see, it doesn't take up very much space on the wall here. So um, very compact, very nice. And uh, honestly, the hardest part of the install was because I chose to run this hose kind of neatly underneath the steps, which had nothing to do with the actual power washer um, because that clearly was not necessary to do, but just something I wanted to do to keep things neat and clean. So um, definitely check this out. I will put the links in the description um, to their website so you can find out more from Giraffe Tools as well as the link to be able to purchase it on Amazon. So make sure you check those out. If you guys have any questions about how it functions, how it works, how to install it, make sure you drop those comments below. I'm always glad to help. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Um, we're gonna try to keep bringing more garage content as well as all of our Jeep and Bronco content to come. So stay tuned.